Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our rookie Balboa run. We're not only continuing it, but it is going to end today one way or another. Rookie Balboa, the run where we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with four men. Rookies only, no PCSs, no training, no nothing. It is straight up rookies plus uh, permanent arc events. We have amassed 13 of those. Look, uh, I cannot promise uh, this is going to be a success. This is potentially going to be a failure, but you have the opportunity to now uh, vote how many of the uh, um, avatars I'm going to take down with me. We're going down swinging in good old fashioned Rocky Balboa style. And secondly, uh, um, I wanted to shortly before we start, just talk through the Waterworld uh, mission. I'm actually quite happy on uh, reflection because if you look, we've really only used one advanced teamwork. We have still both dual shots, and we got the um, uh, the both of the heavy weapons ready: blaster bomb and shredstorm cannon. So that's not a bad start, not at all, um, for essentially going through the very first half of uh, the mission with all of the enemies and the only thing that we used were a couple of and literally a couple of uh, movement actions that we shifted from A to B. So with regards to the last uh, uh, mission, the one small request that I would have for you guys is if you enjoy this mission, no matter if I win or lose, feel free to uh, jump onto a forum of your choice, Reddit, uh, Tumblr, um, the XCOM 2 forums of Firaxis, you name it, or just reach out to a friend in uh, in Discord, post a video, share share some love, and uh, tell him that I tried to uh, do a world's first, and maybe explain them why it is actually a, a cool event for someone who has never seen XCOM 2. It might not be that uh, that clear. Anyways, let's jump right into the mission here. And the one thing that you should know about kind of triggering or the lack of the first uh, three are triggering the fourth one here is not which is good these two have a nice little cozy position there Roger that. and look right over here we are ready And this is out of line of sight, which is also fine. Good, I'm trying to keep the teams sort of together uh, because of double shot and because of mind control. One thing that you should know about uh, triggering is if we're now uh, triggering uh, these guys, the first pack is always double Archon plus uh, the, uh, plus the uh, first avatar. If we're triggering them, the avatar can only teleport in a uh, field in our line of sight, which is why I am really hugging that bottom left corner to not open too much of the overall field. We got, um, I'm always trying to open with the Icarus armor so that we have a chance for fear, which we successfully did. And in the perfect world, this guy will now shoot the avatar. But thank you for shooting your friend. That's good as well, I guess. Good. He's in full cover. So what I would want to do is really hit all of this here so that he can't teleport behind these little, these little bricks there. And in a perfect world, we're also removing cover for the future. Good, let's see where he teleports to. Um, yeah, why not? Let's null lens him. Trying to kill him without shredding him. We 
because then we can keep our shredding shots for later. Good, we're moving up. Fantastic. And let's double shoot the dual strike. There's a chance for an execute. There's always a chance for an execute. And I think we get the double strike back. Yeah, we get it back because uh, the shot killed on the first hit. So we could try to position ourselves back here, which is not bad. And we're mind controlling this guy next turn. Before we do so, let's get rid of the Archon. Moving up, we can slowly but surely continue to move backwards. And let's just go here and overwatch so that we get like one overwatch shot. Okay. Not the worst spawn. Unfortunately, a little bit close for my liking. And unfortunately, a miss, which is also not optimal. So that means more um, spectral zombies if he joins it from the other side yeah and maybe beastmaster who knows but as long as he's on the other side of the room we're actually fine could have been much worse we just picked up a unique signature one of the chosen is here that thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it Good time to get these guys down. We're standing right next to one another so that mind control will not kill us, uh, hit us. Good time for an advanced teamwork because we really need as much firepower as we can get. Okay, just to dish out enough damage, we needed to uh, we needed to use both of our advanced teamwork because because. I wanted to spend my next action to mind control. We need a tank and this guy is perfect for the job. A good old living mimic beacon. Let's charge over here. Blazing pinions is the fastest way for them to move. No and we even killed one complete spawn, which isn't bad. We crossed 
Good, second avatar is spawning guys. So far, so good. We're doing reasonably well with all uh, the things. Good, might be able to hit him with a blaster bomb or blaster launcher that has a super far reach and with that we could we could hit him spectral zombies are unfortunate but yeah we can sort of live with them Spectral Rupture sucks a bit, but the rest is actually okay. I am nearly upon you. Good, what else is spawning? Sectoids aren't that bad. I think they are... They are one of the better spawns for us. Okay, so how do we deal with that? I think I want to keep Rage Strike for now. Move all the way to here. How far almost reach it all right look at that very nice hit everything would be destroyed and we're forcing we're forcing this guy to teleport and since he can only teleport in our vision range there we go there we go Not a great chance but are we going to get a better one potentially not with the archon did not remove the cover Okay, I think um, a choice. I think this here will be in reach to see the him, right? Yes, so naturally we can do a strike him. Come on. Nice hit. That was a fantastic one. Come on, execute.
Ah, uh, this here would be too aggressive. Half cover. It's actually not bad, and we need to reload soon. Ready to engage. So the best course of action indeed would be... ...to go for it. Come on. Execute. Not quite. Oh, so far away. Yeah, he's, he's at max reach from here. But this is potentially seeing him, not even sure. Lots of 100% hits. No. No bueno. No bueno. Nah, can't really, can't really get anywhere close to him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Good, moving away so that we're not going to take the spectral damage. Let's just kill one of the sectors. One less, one less enemy to worry about. All right, the Andromedons are a real problem. Okay, so far so good. Try as they might. Occasionally they do succeed. Are we getting something out of this panic, please? Yeah, he removed his own panic because he killed <laughs> he killed the target of the panic. More spectral rupture. Fantastic. Ten hit points. Okay, I was underestimating their power. Holy shit, they hit like a truck. This would solve our problem, but at the same time, it would also allow them to teleport back to here, which creates a new problem for us. He's in full cover, however. So unless I'm using another cooldown, I wouldn't see how we're going to get, get him down. 
Let's hope for some benevolent teleportation. Well, not too bad. Could have been worse. Hopefully these three are going to go down and hit the hit the Archon. Nice hit. Could have been a crit. But I guess you can't have it all. Alright, kill him. Come on. Fantastic. But these guys here can really mess with us. Oh, it's getting worse. So let's move to here, reducing the line of sight. to deal with another mind control all right that unfortunately missed not good we'll save our dual strike for later really just going trying to get rid of uh, these guys And getting away from here. Back in. Good. This will prevent uh, psionic bombs from dropping. And I hope that we're very soon seeing the last avatar. Why does the guy spawn on the other side? Oh, that is unfortunate. Which means we gotta deal with that crap for one more entire round. Typically they spawn on the top left side. This is the first time that I've ever seen them spawn here. And the problem that I'm seeing is we're having a lot of enemies now. Specifically the Andromedons. But we also can't just fly over and hit him. This would just make everything so much worse. Because the moment that we're opening up uh, the battlefield, 
were practically inviting uh, the avatar to teleport wherever they want. At least the Chosen doesn't do anything. Good, and our tank does exactly what they are supposed to do, which is tanking. Moves up and self-destruct. Okay, we have even more enemies. Look, we need one turn. One solid turn where we're getting as many of them down as possible. I don't want to be in the explosion range. But what I want to do is flank this guy. Fantastic, we got a hair trigger. And a potential spectral zombie that we could kill. May we're also using the time to reload. I don't know yet. What I know is the codices uh, need to go down. And we still have another Mimic Beacon that I'm willing to use this turn. This uh, Dimensional Rift is going to happen next turn. When we actually need it. For now it is Spectral Zombies killing time. But we can reload here. I think we're in a decent spot. Full cover, more or less. Didn't fully work out. Ten percent crit chance, not good enough. Let's rather clear the battlefield. Next turn we can move wherever we want. Can't really kill this guy, unfortunately. Not, no crit chance. Okay crit chance, but still not sure if we're going to kill them. Maybe it's better to really reload. Rolling. We'll cover over here. We're going to use the Mimic Beacon to not uh, trigger the Spectral Rupture. Uh, the, uh, the Psionic Bomb, sorry. That's our last Mimic Beacon. 
in the hopes of attracting that stupid avatar so that we can actually kill him. This, by the way, would be a perfect mind control. Unfortunately, we won't survive long enough to mind control this beast. Good, that prevented us from Shadowbound, which is something. Rage Suit Panic. Yeah, you wouldn't have guessed that there is someone behind the corner that actually killed your queen. <laughs> Very good. And the Mimic Beacon really pays off. More spectral zombies, okay, fair enough. Look, all I want. Is that uh, avatar moving up and getting into a nice line of sight that's all really nothing more nothing less wow even more rage suit panic no, oh, 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 don't kill him. It could have um, triggered an explosion. Okay, so he's he's right there. Please. It looks like this would be hitting him. Okay, so that's one way of hitting him. Can we... Could we hit him? I think yes. I think the answer is actually yes. Doesn't matter that we're standing in the open. I can promise you we're not going to survive this turn unless the guy dies. Good. Come on. Nice hit. Fantastic. Shredded. Tries to evade us with shenanigans. But I'm not up for those shenanigans. Not today, not on my watch. Dimensional Rift, baby. that's a flanking position come on come on 
I need a crit or an execute. Nice. Nice. Nope, not good enough. Not good enough. What's the right position here, Psyche? I think the right position is Icarus jump and come on, roll the dice. I want to finish this campaign. There we go. Yes! Very much yes. Oh boy, that was satisfying. Everything's going haywire. Oh boy, that was uh, satisfying. Guys, I've, I'm lost for words. I wasn't really thinking that uh, this is possible, but finally we pulled it off. All of the sacrifices, the harsh, harsh punishments, the fast rush uh, throughout uh, the um, entire playthrough, going laboratory first, Kind of a crazy build if you think about it, just to get kind of those extra uh, scientists for the first two, three months. Uh, we went armor first. We, I think, lost 10, 12, 15 operatives in the very first few months, just because we had like four hit points. No one was getting up extra hit points and we were quite literally a one shot. We didn't even have mimic beacons. Then kind of a lucky uh, breakthrough with the assault rifles, getting that plus one damage, getting the upgrade to armor, and then eventually uh, getting our way into the mid game uh, with uh, with uh, laser rifles and and uh, improved armor. And then it started becoming more and more difficult. And I noticed that we needed the, the bonds. Luckily, we could stabilize, less uh, kills were happening, but we really needed to uh, focus on farming the bonds. Even needed to build two heavy armors uh, for shredding in the mid game, because that was such a big problem without um, the blue screen rounds to, to just get through all of the shredding. Needed to get um, a lot of uh, the, the repeaters going. We we were waiting for a scope for month at end and even when we were then upgrading to the best possible armor and uh, plasma weapons it it still kept being increasingly difficult and i was always afraid and was fearing like can we even take on a sector pot with four men or a gatekeeper that seems incredibly uh, difficult and then we uh, got shut down even twice we uh, surprisingly enough killed the first I think gatekeeper uh, during our first no the first sector port uh, with the first invasion mission and the first gatekeeper with the second uh, lost uh, chosen uh, shutdown mission so we kind of got the training wheels uh, how to fight against them with uh, 10 uh, people and then later actually got uh, them down to four people I would have never guessed that we would have gotten through the entire kind of golden uh, path missions. I distinctly remember the one mission uh, where we're trying to recover the suit and it took like four hours in real uh, in, in real life. I need to take two breaks because it was just such a stressful mission, super low margin of error and we were completely out of everything and still needed to keep going. I think we killed like 200 enemies in, in this mission. Definitely one of the missions that I appreciated. And then I, I smelled kind of blood in the water for the first time and thought, you know what, maybe we can do it. Uh, the gateway mission itself was surprisingly easier than, than the suit mission. Um, but uh, that was also because I knew how to, uh, how to trigger the chrysalids and just applied kind of a really thoughtful strategy um, just to go to get through that uh, mission essentially and basically showcase how you can do that mission with uh, four rookies only and then i knew okay we could at least go to the last mission and the whole idea then culminated in let's not waste or risk our prime equipment so i needed to still uh, play through i think one and a half or two months with secondary equipment and 
not the primary rookies that we wanted to uh, take into the uh, into the final mission. So all in all, that then led us to Waterworld. And when I was going in, I really thought, okay, I know exactly what kind of um, equipment and uh, and items we would need. That definitely worked out uh, like a charm. We've almost used all of the items that I brought with me, short of uh, maybe the freezing breath, everything. We were completely out, every single, um, uh, every single mimic beacon, every single shredding, every uh, single extra hit. All of it was gone, gone at the end. Uh, we still had a few more um, turns at our disposal to, to actually kill the avatar, but uh, make no mistake, like, if we would have missed a few of the other shots or he would have been uh, teleporting somewhere else, the whole situation could have gone very much sideways and we would have at best survived one more round uh, in, in, that, uh, in that harsh environment. Look, and if, if I'm just uh, recapping the rookie run mentally, uh, it certainly was uh, one of uh, the hardest challenges that I have played through. People often ask me, like, what's the hardest challenge run that you played, Saiken? It's really hard to, uh, to, to tell because the difficulty lies in, in various forms. This run here was one that was very technical and very much uh, working around the right equipment and uh, how to position and how to use terrain. So you can learn a lot uh, in terms of modifying percentage uh, shots uh, just by watching uh, this run and for a rookie only run, 86% is reasonably uh, reasonably good. Albeit, if you have seen some of the missions, you would know we sometimes were standing on high ground just without cover because there was no other option to, to survive, like hitting 30% shots on low ground. Eh, it's not really um, happening. Soldiers lost. I wasn't sure that we lost 38 soldiers, but boy, boy, that's a meat grinder campaign. It was more than I remember. Um, that, of course, includes mind control soldiers uh, as well, but pfft, that's harsh. That is very harsh. Uh, we lost a few missions, but we've also flawless a few missions, so that's not bad. Chosen killed? No. Uh, no. Days for the first chosen killed? Nothing. Um, no faction hero, zero. Um, number of level three bonds, four, that's great. And we just got one breakthrough, and that was for assault rifles. Soldiers who saw action, quite a few, that's true. Um, Psionic soldiers trained, yes, and Eve trained to the maximum, but never even saw a mission or any covert ops. Straight up ignore that. Numbers of scientists, great. Numbers of engineers, great. We were relatively fast with magnetic and beam weapons for legendary. Uh, and then you can see plated armor into beam weapons, into uh, into magnetic weapons, into beam weapons, into powered armor. So that was good uh, because it was a fast rush mission. And yeah, we really collected a lot of uh, supplies and paid a lot of intel to the black market because that was our only way of really getting better. That brings us to the end of this run, uh, guys. A couple of um, uh, reminders. Number one, if you fancy yourself being drafted for one of the future runs, always go to the first mission of these runs and just give it a good old description of your character and you can maybe also uh, be a soldier in one of our future uh, run-throughs. Number two, if you've made it that far in the run and that far in the video, uh, hearing me lamenting over and over about uh, that uh, that run, do me a favor and just subscribe plus hit the like button. I think you took a lot of entertainment out of it and hopefully also enjoyed yourself. Might as well just subscribe. Uh, it would mean the world for me uh, because uh, that also means the video uh, goes out and is being shown to more uh, people and the channel essentially grows. I would uh, really like that. And number three, don't forget to leave a comment around what the next potential challenge should look like. Typically, the last mission is always a good uh, place to reflect and think about what we can do better. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you truly enjoyed it as much as I did. And see you all in the next run. Peace out. Your commander, Saiken.